Yep. This is organisation. Hi. Hey. 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 Susie, so okay? So Thank you. Check, uh, so just straight up, just through security and gate number five. Right, so you've got your stuff already in the way, fam. Um, I'm not really going to lie, I'm going to show you, I'm going to mash through there. So you're just going straight up, gate number five. Thank you. People keep sending me your effort, keep throwing you against Northern Ireland teams. Um, we thought of all these exotic teams we might get, and we've got Glenn, Swan, and Cole Rain back home. But um, no, it's good. It's a shame fans aren't in. Obviously, the whole family would be here. Stephen, what's your memories of this place? Have you got any? Uh, we were just talking about it on the way down. Me and Trevor, I was, um, me and Stephen Craig, and we're managing the, the Northern Ireland under 21 team. And I think it was a fight with the Mexican team. It was the last time I was down here. So, I um, interesting memories to say the least. But it's nice to be back, and obviously we want to go away with the victory. But we know that it's it's going to be a tough, tough game for us. Trevor, we anticipate from Corey. Yeah, there'll be a battle. You know, it's we touched on. You know, we played Glen Torn, so it sort of gives us a feel for what they expect. You know, it'll be a tough game. You know, it'll be well organised. A good manager and Owen, and uh, you know, we've got to be up for the battle. I think we showed on Saturday. Maybe being labelled as a bit of a pretty team, like to keep the ball, but I think we showed on Saturday we can roll our sleeves up and you know, do the dirty side as well, so I think that's important going into tomorrow night. Is there's a result for Coleraine against Marathon, so it's like, it won't be an easy task for It's a great result for them, you know, and uh, you know, it's credit to them, you know, credit to the manager how he set them up, and you know, it, you know, it's great for them, but you know, on the flip side, it gave us a chance to play a team that wasn't seeded, so you know, we have to come here confident, you know. As I say, take advantage of uh, the opportunity we've got. Did you practice penalties? We did all week. You know, as I say, as a as a club, as a coaching staff, they leave no stone on you know on turn. So we've practiced everything up. Uh, trust me. So you know, let's hope it doesn't get down. Let's hope we do the job in ninety minutes. But if it goes to the penalties, we're we're ready. been through um, about 25 million emotions um, ultimately we set out to get through to the next round nobody will remember in Saturday Sunday how we got through um, you know, we showed a lot of character when the game should have been out of sight 2-0 you know we got enough criticism when we weren't winning games and we were playing very well um, we were dominating the game you know and, and it is now we have ground out results so we can play better than that you know this is make no mistake this is an unbelievably difficult place to come to it was a tricky tie, it was a banana skin. Had we got beat, there'd be plenty made off it, we didn't. We showed character, we, we had to dig in, we had to be very, very resilient and as whatever way you get through, we did. And we're through to the next round, so we've got to be happy with that.
I sort of hate missing games at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world because it was only one game I missed but you, you want to be involved in these games and to not be involved was was hard for me but I think the, the boys finally got over the line. We had the game against St Johnston and I've come on, I've had a clash of heads and split my head open but to be fair obviously I continued on and then I've had, I got another knock on my head again and because I had a wee bit of Cushion like symptoms, if you if you like, then it's the it's the new protocol that you, to be fair that they have to follow. I was disappointed about it. Um, I felt fine all week and felt like I could have been there, but it's just one of these things that you've got to take the doctor's advice and and kind of get on with it. Just watched it in the house. Just watched it in the house, and uh, to be fair, it's probably worse watching it than it is when you're involved in it, um, it's more nervy, um, probably don't feel as nervous when you're playing it but uh, no it was it was good, it was, I think it was, wasn't the best conditions but I think the, the boys grafted well and I think we deserve to go through in the end. You progress in Europe, I think you, there's always a buzz about the place that gives you that feel good factor but to to progress and, and still continue that on then in the league, it's it's not easy. I mean, we don't have the biggest squad in the world. It's a testament to the boys. They played 120 minutes and then they put in a performance like that, then it's, it's second to none. We're off to Israel. I've never been there before. I think it'll be warm. A few boys might get a bit of sunburn. Um, my son stroke, but it's going to be a challenge, it'll be a tough game. They're a team that's always kind of been about even the Champions League qualifiers and that, so we know what we're in for, but we're not going there to kind of make up the numbers and just be there to be happy to be there. We want to go and progress and go as far as we can. <laughs> I've played in some big games, I've played in Scottish Cups and in semi-finals and, and whatnot and although it's not a, a final, it's, it's Europe, it's that unique thing so everybody wants to say they've played in Europe. This side, you're through the orange one! I've, be, I've been a wee bit unlucky at times but at the end of the day I'm not going to sit here and feel sorry for myself, do you know? I'm going to I'm going to get on with it, I'm going to work hard, uh, all the strikers want to push each other um, and, and even when it was when it was hard we, we, were, all, we were all together, we all want each other to do well because we, we all believe in each other's ability so now that we're starting to kind of reap the rewards of that then it's it makes it easier for us all. On behalf of Motherwell SC. My name is Elle, and along with Gemma, Georgina, and Emma, we are here to take good care of you. Good morning, thank you. Good morning. We met in the stadium for six o'clock this morning to go to Glasgow Airport. We got our our meals on the flight, a uh, good bit of banter with the boys and uh, a lot of excitement around the camp, obviously coming away to Israel to play in a Europa League game, uh, we're buzzing for it. <laughs> It's massive for me and my career, it's another milestone. Again, the third qualifying round, obviously skipping the boys out, so it's something that I'm looking forward to and can't wait for. What's your point? 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 Really, it's, it's a wee bit of the unknown as well. It's not as much as we knew about the two Northern Irish teams, having a Northern Irish manager and obviously having Trevor Carson and a few other boys that knew them. So, uh, no, we're just excited to see what happens in the game. Come on, Brock, it's on you. It's warm here, like, isn't it? Warm. 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 
the stadium looks good. Uh, it's very big, floodlights all right round it and stuff like that. It's not the four in the corner, it's right round the stadium, so it gives it that extra wee nighttime game feel in the Europa League and stuff like that. So it's massive. It's obviously something that the club uh, haven't had for a while, and at the end of the day, it's a great chance for us to push on in Europe again. Obviously, Barcelona is going to be a, a really tough task. We are the underdogs in this game, but. At the end of the day, it's something that we're looking forward to and hopefully that we can reach the playoff range. I think Tins were a little bit of disappointment because you know you come into the unknown here and you're you're not 100 percent sure you watch footage of it. But um, I thought for large periods of the game we were a better side. We certainly came in believing that we'd win the game. When you reflect on it and look back, you know, we've we've no right to be, be anywhere near them. The financial disparity between the two football clubs, um, the level of experience, you know, we had two players that have played in Europe um, out of the whole squad. You know, I, I think after 20 minutes the boys realised actually we were as good as these. We were organised, we were really disciplined, we were shaped, they couldn't break us down. I don't think they had a chance before that. Um, so that's a disappointing thing. I, I do believe them, they deserve a large amount of credit for, you know, to come here and go toe to toe with that team. I, I do believe there was a real opportunity there tonight and I think that's the, the tinge of disappointment the boys feel today.